King Eric the Great, aka Rick Capo, coming at y'all with another video. And my question is this, man: Do y'all feel really excited about this year's WrestleMania? Because honestly, I don't. I don't know what it is. It's just the energy isn't there. The storylines just isn't hitting it. The characters isn't grabbing me to where I want to see certain people win. Aside from Kofi Kingston. Because I want to see Kofi Kingston get his big moment. And I know Kofi Kingston and Daniel Bryan are going to have the best, probably the best match of the show. That's going to be the best match of the show next to probably Randy Orton and AJ Styles. Because they took that, they took that, that uh, few personal. Now, with everything else... I just feel that despite all of these ads that we've been seeing every time we click on a YouTube clip of WrestleMania, I just feel that the casuals aren't really excited like they normally normally were. What are some of the reasons? I remember going back to 1999, 20 years around this time. They were fighting for to gain our approval back because the WWE was going to war with WCW and ECW. So, they had to scratch, they had to fight, they had to grind, they had to claw, they had to listen to the people. And they ended up winning the, winning the whole Monday Night War. And look at the results of that. We had memorable matches, memorable moments, characters that transitioned the business. But see, today you don't see that. You don't see that because Vince McMahon and them figure the name sells itself. Because... That WrestleMania that happened in 99, that was coming fresh off the heels from a year prior of WrestleMania having the lowest buy right ever. I think even Starcade 1997 surpassed that mania. I could be wrong, but they know that's not a good number for the biggest pay-per-view of the year for them. This is their Super Bowl. And usually around this time, you'll see even people that don't even watch wrestling excited. I don't even see none of the bars promoting this so what is the problem number one just the number one is just that they haven't really put an emphasis in making us care about this new breed of characters number two there's really no big stars that they could that push this like the undertaker he might not be here john cena might not be here a lot of the legends that we grew up watching are either past so we're left with a bunch of guys that the masses don't really know unless you're a true diehard wrestling fan because see wrestlemania often used to be used as a gear shift to guide the casuals back and apparently they don't really care about that no more they probably figured they controlled the soul landscape we got brock lesnar we got ronda rousey we got all the stars from the indies so we don't really need that push we're just good with the number that we have and that's a reflection of the product because the build itself has been weak and mediocre. The build itself has been disappointing. Aside from Kofi and Daniel Bryan, aside from AJ and Randy Orton, the rest of this stuff, however, I haven't really cared for. I didn't really start caring for the women about until Raw when they all three got arrested. And they tried to do the typical arrest angle where fights break out, all hell break loose, and they all go to jail. So, I don't know, man, I'm going to still check it out, but I'm not really excited about it at all. It just feels like the roster isn't really working to really get that, that's what they would call the brass ring. But then again, a part of that could be because of Vince McMahon, because Vince McMahon cuts a lot of these guys' legs in terms of creativity. So, there's a lot of problems going on with that. And when these guys do scratch and claw, case in point with Kofi Kingston, they end up getting shafted. So, I guess they figure, we're just going to go ahead, we're going to make as much money as we can, and we're going to get out. There's no point of even being the best, because they're going to cut our legs. So, I guess that's the mentality that's going on. So... Do you guys think WrestleMania is going to knock it out the ballpark despite the mediocre buildup? Subscribe to the channel. Let me know. This is King Eric, a.k.a. Rick Capo, signing out. Be sure to listen to my man, Abel Beats. This is what you, this is what you hear in the background. And I'm out.